Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 PP Guru. Today we're going to be looking at uh, creating something a little bit simple, a little bit different though for our channel and we're going to be looking at making a cookie clicker-esque uh, game. I'm going to keep it Ringmon themed just for a bit of fun and so let's crack on. We can start with a blank project, uh, we can keep it in blueprint, we want to be on mobile, we want to be on scalable and we can. it doesn't really matter about the rest and we're just going to call this um, Ringmon clicker game. Okay, so once you've set it up to be mobile, mobile preview, what we want to do is go into our editor. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be changing it from uh, landscape mode to portrait mode. You can do this in the play and go on to here. You see this little landscape image. If you click that, it will change to a portrait one. Um, and then if we close the editor preferences uh, down and we open up the project settings, we need to basically get rid of um, the touchscreen um, control. So we can go to, we can type in default touch interface. Here we go. And then we can just clear that one. That basically, when you click play, it's got two little joysticks and it gets rid of that for you. Uh, because again, we will only be tapping. We won't need to uh, do anything like that. We're basically going to be using buttons. And then what we want to also do is use mouse uh, for touch, which is here, enable that, and that means we'll be able to use our mouse uh, to emulate our thumb. Okay, so once you've done all that, we can click the play button. Okay, so I've got rid of the mobile because it's not letting me load up the mobile preview. I don't know why, but this is what you would see in the mobile preview. It's nothing too crazy. So the next thing we want to do is we want to... Uh, in our content area, here we go. We want to create a, a game base mode, which we're going to call clicker game mode. We also want to create a pawn, which we're going to call this uh, clicker pawn. And we also want to create a widget blueprint, and we'll call this uh, clicker widget, like so. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put clicker game mode up here and we also want to put clicker pawn there, like so. And when we click play, nothing will happen just yet. But what we will do is what we're going to add this widget in here to our player. So once it opens up, we're going to get a, uh, we're going to get a canvas panel, like so. Now, we won't be able to change it from landscape to portrait until we click on something like a phone. So let's go for like, um, I don't really know which one's going to be best. Uh, let's go for this one. Uh, there we go. It, I suppose the bigger the better, right? Um, that way we can see it better um, when we do it. We're going to just get a text box for now. Like so. It doesn't matter which one. I've got a rich text box, but it really doesn't matter. Um, and then we just want to say click a game like so. Uh, okay, no, I don't like that. Let's just uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get a proper text box that might work a bit better. Uh, let's go click a game, and then we're just going to anchor it to the middle. And um, we're going to just up the font as well a bit to like a 72, and we're just going to do that right just so that when we get it up on the screen we can see it when we start so let's open up our clicker pawn and let's go for the uh, event graph and go for edit blue uh, begin blueprint we want to create widget like so and we also want to set that up to be our clicker widget and we just want to add to uh, to viewport like so and we'll compile and then the next time we press play we should have click a game there we go easy peasy now that shows us that every time we press play this widget will show up no matter what which is great uh, so what we want to do now is uh, we want to basically design our widget now I have gained uh, a couple of things one of those things is um, Okay, we want to 
make that to maybe a hundred. Okay, this is going to need to be a lot bigger. That's fine. Uh, there we go. And we also want to set the Z order to minus one. That means that everything that goes uh, onto this widget will come in front of this uh, image we've got here. Now we can't see the text because that's white, but we're going to change our image anyway. So content draw. I have got. A, I've prepared a, an image I can use for the main background. So let's drag that in here like so which will import now I have ripped this from Pokemon so please uh, don't judge me <laughs> but that's what I've done so let's click on the image and we now want to change that image here uh, into that brand new one we've got here just chuck that in there and there we go we've got a lovely little image that will just sit on the back and make it look a bit more kind of Ringmon Pokemon y kind of uh, style now we want to create a couple of things here. The first thing we want to do is we want um, to um, add in a score, of course, and we're going to want um, a bunch of things. Uh, well, A, something to click, of course, is what we're going to need. Now, I kind of wanted to do it that um, uh, you clicked on the Ringmon and gained power. And the more power you had, the more you could defeat stuff. And that was what gave you more levels. So, mines it's obviously a little bit gimmicky. I, I, I'm well aware. But um, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to set this up with... First of all, let's, let's make this black so it shows up a little bit better. There we go. Um, and so, we're going to have power. And I want power to be what you use to level up and defeat stuff and then you have like you normally have like an amount you can get of power per level okay we're gonna work this out uh, clearly but <laughs> for now let's get the basics out so you normally have like a cps right which is a click per second so we have pa current power or like whatever it is you would normally select if it's cookies you have cookies so you, uh, your current amount of cookies which would be this one right uh, and then you normally have like a click per second amount which is like how many cookies you gain per click or cookies per second or click per second it works both ways so let's duplicate this uh, so it's below it uh, like so and we're gonna make this half of that so we're gonna go actually not quite half but we'll go 40 so it sits just below and both of these need to kind of sit in the middle. So like so. There we go. That's a lot better. Uh, there we go. We've got power now. Um, I might wrap these with a background image. But we'll see. For now they're fine. Um, and then we need to also have a couple of things on our pawn. Um, which is going to be variables. Uh, so the first one is. They're all going to be integers. Uh, or should they be floats? I think they should probably be floats because you you normally have like points so much or whatever. So the first one is going to be our total power, and then we're going to have one that we're going to have current level. Now in mine, the way I'm thinking it through is um, your levels are kind of like your your your. CPS your click per second so the more levels you have the more power you gain per click and your power is what you use to uh, gain more levels and in this game this gimmick is going to be who you're fighting so let's say for example you fight a trainer you might get 0.1 uh, auto click you know because you also have auto clicking stuff in this which gets you power so everyone you defeat so you use your you use your power you use up your power to defeat trainers to get auto levels for more power. This will make sense. It will work. I know it will. <laughs> uh, so this isn't power. This is going to be level. Like so. And um, how are we going to track that? Well, actually what we're going to do is we're going to bind our text to something. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast to... Clicker pawn. There we go. I'm going to get uh, get character, get player character, and from that we're going to get uh, 
get our power. Get total. This is the one I'm doing, right? I'm doing total power. I'm, I'm sure. I'm hoping it is. We're gonna get our total power, and we're just gonna ask it to do that. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of an append. Not from there. We'll just get an append. Append. Uh, we want a string append like so, and then that will go in there like that. And then what we're going to do is delete that one out, and that one will go into here. And then at the end, we're going to have space power like so, and we can compile that. Uh, get pawn maybe might work better. Get player pawn. Is it like that one more? There we go. Okay, better, a lot better. So. That should now, hopefully, when we click play, show us our total power we have. Now, obviously, we start with zero, um, and we have to click. And the current level we are going to start with is always going to be one. Always going to be one. Um, so, well, actually, no, it should be zero. It should actually, in theory, be zero. Um, the reason it should be zero is because we don't want any automatic uh, CPS growth. We want to have to force a player to tap to begin with, then they click an unlock, and then they get their they get their CPS from that. So our current level uh, will be zero. So on the clicker, both of these should sit as zero for now. Um, and then we just do the same thing with this. We bind that, um, create the binding, and we're gonna do exact near enough exactly the same thing as we did in this one. So we can actually copy and paste a lot of this, like so, and uh, we can go into this one and just add it in there, and do that, and then do that, we can do that, and then we just need to get um, level, get current level, there we go, and do that. So, that so far, so good. We can compile that one, and uh, then all we need to do is um, we need to add in a button to press. So let's go back over to, uh, if I can find it, the designer. And we're going to add in a button. Like so. There we go, a lovely button. We're going to make it a little bit bigger, like so. It, we'll probably want it bigger than this as well. And we're going to go to style. We're going to go to the normal. And we're going to have, uh, so I need to actually pick up one of my current ring mons. Um, now I might update this so it changes the ring mon you actually click on over time or maybe just randomize it. But for now, we're just going to pick one of our old faithfuls. We're going to get her badger in. And um, when we click on that, we want it to be her badger, right? There we go. Lovely her badger. Isn't he lovely? He looks a bit dark though. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but um, we can always maybe attempt to mess around with it in here. Uh, we want it to be not world. We want it to be UI maybe. Save. Uh, it's still quite dark. It's fine. We can fix him up later. It's not an issue. And what we want to have happen is when we click on him, we want him to... Um, change size we just want it to be very subtle we want him to be on a 30 when we um if we get her badger again oh he's right at the top there um so image size oh, okay it's actually not so different so we want it to be 3500 maybe when we tap on him we can test this out so that's fine uh compile that and then what we want to do is we want to go back to our click level click play and there he is uh, so, oh, when we're hovered, we don't want to do anything. Uh, that's something we need to get rid of. So let's go back into the widget, click on the hovered, and we just want him to do exactly the same thing as he's doing there. Just that. Compile that, and it shouldn't do anything different when we're hovered over it now. Like so. Oh, he gets a bit lighter though. Huh. And we can tap on him. Uh, I don't know why he gets brighter when he's hovered. That's very bizarre. Um, and I don't know where those went either. That was really, really weird. Uh, okay, so there's no tint. We don't want any tint. Zero tint. Oh. Um, 
intent. Just oh, there we go. That's why. Okay, and then with that one, we'll just go very bright again. Uh, and that was what was going on. And then image size. Maybe we need to go uh, a lot smaller. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, 3,000, 3,000. Okay, let's see if that actually has any effect when we click on him. So we click play. Um, oh, he doesn't actually change size, but he does change tint. So at least we know we're tapping on him. That's the main thing, right? Uh, and then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, what we need to do is actually get these to stay where we want them. Um, so to do that, we're going to click on the anchor and we're going to go like that. Uh, this one needs to always be anchored to here and uh, great. Next thing we need to do is now actually program this button. Uh, so let's call this one clicker button. And um, when we click on him, we just want to gain one level, right? No, we want to get one power. Sorry, my mistake. So let's go into the event graph. Um, we need to get our clicker button and we need to do on clicked called when the button is clicked and we want to do something very simple to here we want to get this um, cast to clicker and what we want to do is we want to um, get our so we want to set our power total power we want to get our total power and we just want to um, take our total power and add one to it, plus one. And eventually when we start getting um, somewhere else with this, what we wanna do is actually probably promote this uh, to a variable so we can amend how much we can add to it over time. But for now, while we're pressing it, we just want it to add one to our total. So let's click on play and uh, it's a little bit mashed, but as you can see, it is working. It's probably because I've got it. Uh, I don't know why it's like this. It should be uh, like that. There we go. So now when we click, we get our power amount like so, and we can keep going. So eventually we can have it that we can get a power up that will add to level. I don't know why that says power as well, maybe because I copy and pasted, but as you can see, we are clicking now and we are getting power. Obviously a couple of things we need to amend there. One being uh, in our widget, in the get text of zero, we want this to say level. Okay, add to that. And that one says power, that's a lot better now. There we go. And great, it's, it's We've got a cook, we've already got essentially a cookie clicker in place. So now all we need to do is get it so that we can add in some um, little extra. Oh gosh, I'm pressing all sorts of buttons. Not the one I want. Here we go. So now we want to do it so that we have a menu down here where we can um, get maybe some extra things. Well, we want to spend our power basically, right? So we can add to our level and grow. Um, so what we need to do is we need to now have it that every second, we need to do two things now. We need to basically, I'm going to just quickly get another button and for now, I'm just going to have it. So I'm not going to go ahead and make a second menu right now. What I want to do in today's episode is get it so that it adds to our level, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to have one button here. And on this button, we're going to have um, text. We're going to have on this button, we're going to just have it say, for now, uh, trainer fight. Um, and we'll set that to uh, black. There we go. And next to that, we're just going to have another text box that just explains uh, what it does. Um, 100 power for 0 0.1 level okay that's the that's what it costs for this to uh to to add right so um now we need to set up so this button 
we'll call it the trainer button. Um, we're going to go into the graph. Um, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to get this trainer button. We're going to go on clicked. Okay. The first thing it's going to do is a. We're going to cast this, and I'm this time I'm going to promote this. Promote this to the variable for now. All right. So I'll click a pawn, and what we're going to do is we're going to get um, get our power, get total power, and we're going to do a check to see is this greater to. 100 and if that's true it will um, we will add the amount we want to our level and minus off from our total power if it's false we don't want it to do anything of course so we now want to get um, the first thing we want to do if it's true uh, we're going to set our total power. Um, if it's true, we're going to set our total power by uh, getting this and minusing uh, 100. Okay. Like so. And we also need to add something to our um, our level, right? So. I might as well do this now. Get this, and we want to get. We want to set our level, current level. Um, and to set that, what we want to do is we want to get level. No, sorry, wrong one. Get a current level, and then we want to add. Now we want to add zero point one, like so and um, add that into there. So we add 0 0.1 to our current level. And that it should be our button done. The last thing we need to do is we need to get an event tick. And what we want to do is we want to keep adding to our power um, every second. So we're going to do a delay first. And we want to add one second to that delay. And every second we want to take um, again, grab this cast. We want to take this current click upon. Now, admittedly, I probably could have done this in variables on the widget because we're going to be doing everything in the widget, but we'll keep it on our pawn for now. Um, we want to get our current uh, pawn. We want to get um, power, total power, and we want to add our total power with our get current level like so um, and then we want to set total power with that new addition every second and that can go into there uh, and that's all we need to have happen so every second so every every tick this is going to run but every second we're going to add this we're going to just run this okay and all it's going to do is going to get our total power we're going to add our current level to it and then we're going to do that every second every second we're not clicking so every time we click it's just going to add one to our total power but every uh second it's also going to run that um little function so here we've got zero power so let's get to 100 and then we'll see what happens okay And it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. And as you can see, also, we can't see any of um, the rest of the world going on right now. And then we're going to click one. Oh, oh, it's because oh, it's not equal to. There we go. And now it's going to start saving up our power. And again, if we get to 100 again, we can add another one. But we're going to obviously add some changes to this in the second episode. But for now, we have a, clicky, a cookie clicker running. We just need to um, make a few amendments uh, and also maybe make it so that it obviously requires more power um, for every level um, just to get that 0 0.1 so it doesn't run at 100 every time because otherwise you could get to um, the fact that it's adding 100 every time and you could just keep clicking this forever. So we might make it so that the next one costs 10%. And then after that, the next one costs 10%, the next one costs 10%. But to do that, we'd have to give everyone their own individual um, button.
button powers and stuff, which is fine. That's super easy to do. Um, this is just setting up the cookie clicker. But for now, this is running as a cookie clicker now, and we can keep going. So we have a ring on cookie clicker going. Hopefully this has been really helpful to you guys. I will do a second episode on this, just going more into um, the menus and these extra uh, SP, uh, CPS kind of setups, and we'll, we'll maybe do the power increase for every single one and things. But let me know if you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to do a, a part two where I can kind of continue this on. But for, for now, you actually have got a cookie clicker running uh, and you could play this um, obviously with some extra additions. But hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. You can always change your mind down the line. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. I super appreciate all the support. And I'll see you next time. Much love. Take care. Bye.